all our models are destroyed. Famous words, famous words that we all know came from Michael Saylor once upon a time. And many great memes have been made uh, of this, right? And and it, it it instills a sense of of humility, right? A sense of humility towards Bitcoin. But guess what we just found out? We just found out that all our models are destroyed, except for his. Well, yes, my, and my last point is, in the near term, Keith, in the near term, these things work. But over the long term, adoption makes sense. Like, all of your arguments about why you should short Facebook in 2013, they're all wrong. Facebook's trading at 280 bucks a, sh a share. They're all wrong. You should have never sold it ever, ever, ever. Now, what happens to all these wonderful models if 10 billionaires decide to buy $1 billion of Bitcoin each and announce we bought it? We're not ashamed of it. We're going to buy more. All your models are destroyed, completely devastated. Bitcoin goes to the moon. Because what really matters is with Facebook, does it work? Do a billion people use it? Point of reference, Keith McCullough has me blocked. Uh, that's because I trolled him a lot when he uh, when he started trolling Bitcoin. But But there you have it, right? Michael Saylor explaining how all the models are destroyed. So naturally... It's a pretty strange thing when somebody who touts that all of these models are inaccurate, inefficient, can't properly uh, can't properly track um, or or be able to predict any type of movements with Bitcoin, and yet all of a sudden yesterday we see this tweet right here: Bitcoin 24 is an open source macro model forecasting asset growth and Bitcoin adoption over the next 21 years, along with micro models to evaluate various Bitcoin strategies for individuals, corporations, institutions, and nation states. Now, this takes you to a GitHub with an Excel sheet, which fellow Bitcoiners uh, jokingly saying that uh, it just says there's, there's no second best, which uh, yes, of course, that Excel sheet is there, right? Um, but there's also a bunch of videos in that GitHub that uh, essentially explain uh, the, uh, the, the different models. And um, the whole point of this video is not to discredit the work of these people that are creating these models and whatnot. The point of this video is about heroes in Bitcoin, okay? Heroes in Bitcoin. We're all very well aware that MicroStrategy has over 220,000 Bitcoin, okay? I don't really know if anybody knows how much Bitcoin Michael Saylor has himself, but in either case, in, in either case, it's it doesn't make a difference. My, my point is this, okay, is that it doesn't really make a difference how much Bitcoin they have, okay? Every single one of us is driven by our individual incentives, okay? And the truth of the matter is, is that it's fairly hypocritical to sit there and bash everyone else's models saying all of your models are destroyed. Oh, but here's my model. Here's the model that, that I approve. It's all about the fact that we do not need to have any heroes in Bitcoin, this particular development, okay, that uh, with with Michael Saylor uh, releasing this Bitcoin 24 macro modeling um, strategy, how is Michael Saylor's model any different than anybody else's? Why would it not be invalidated by some black swan event like any other model? So look, the reason, again, right, the, the reason why I'm explaining this is not to bash Michael Saylor. It's not, I mean, people know that I'm not a fanboy anyways, but that's just because I, I don't have any heroes. I Look, once you've been burned a few times, like, you, you, do you really need to keep putting your hand on the stove to figure out that it's hot? No, it's, like, it's the same playbook over and over again. So, you know, great, you know, great cheerleader for Bitcoin, right? Uh, dismantling all these other people's uh, points against Bitcoin. And then, of course, right, at some point it just becomes... Well, hey, all these other people were wrong and I'm right. And here's my, you know, here's my product. And I understand it's open source. I understand he's not making any money off of it and all that good stuff. That That's perfectly fine. The point, again, is about the hypocrisy of people and making sure that we keep our hopium in check 
and that we're not just sitting there falling for whatever these people say, because guess what? He was telling you everybody else's models were destroyed, but then here he is with his own model. So what, what exactly is going to stop his model from being destroyed? Right? Like th th there's no difference. There really is no difference. And something else that people, I don't know how many people actually pay attention to these models. None of these models can predict any kind of black swan events. That's why they're black swan events. They, they weren't seen, right? They are unknown unknowns. So any model that any of us have can easily be invalidated by anything that we are not aware of. I mean, it can also be invalidated by things we are aware of as well, but those are not considered black swan events, right? As I said, black swan events are unknown unknowns. So the idea that you can trust the model because it's you know coming from Michael Saylor or it's coming from that guy Giovanni with his new power law thingy, um, all of those models look really good based on previous historical data. Okay, so that's what it is. It looks at previous historical data and extrapolates out future movements from that data. It's guessing. It's astrology. I, I know people don't want to hear that. They want to imagine that there's experts, that there's people that 100% understand exactly what it is that they're looking at, and they can they can tell you how this is going to work. Fucking lying to you. Okay, it's a shell game. It's a confidence game. And all they're doing is selling you on their confidence. Now, of course, you could sit there and say, well, Phil, you know, you're kind of selling me on your confidence right now that that's a shell game. Maybe, maybe, but I can tell you this. I put none of those people on a pedestal. I don't think any of those people are heroes. I don't believe any of their models um, are impervious to being destroyed. I believe that nobody understands Bitcoin completely. Anyone who pretends that they do, I am very fear. Uh, I'm not, I shouldn't say I'm afraid of, but I'm concerned, right? I'm concerned by their hubris. So I appreciate, I appreciate the, uh, the act of building these materials, right? I totally appreciate that this stuff is out there that we can examine it. Um, but again, I don't think we should make heroes out of these people. I think Michael Saylor's models um, are equally as flawed as any of the other models. And every single one of these models are susceptible to unknown unknowns. That does it for today. All your models are destroyed, except mine. Catch you tomorrow.